big time player, Albin Ocean, one of the best in the world, but excels on the biggest stage. Hasn't won so many European titles or Euro Tour titles. Yeah, that's right. He's definitely a big time player. He loves this arena, likes playing in front of a crowd on TV. Very smooth cueist as well. And it's worth bearing in mind that in the semi finals, he secured six racks by breaking and running out. Pot success rate in that semi final 99%. has been playing solid and consistent throughout the whole tournament but after the jump against Woodward score 6-5 that's when everything kicked into place has gone up the gear and that is the, the kind of start you dream about winning the lag breaking potting three balls on the break and then knocking in the rest of them Albin Ashen leads 1-0 that angle for the cue ball This is just the start he was after because he knows Omar was a little bit edgy in his semi-finals and rightfully so. So if we can put a few racks together here, well, it's a dream start. Cue ball has been very good in the opening two racks. In June, cold isn't a word you associate with Kuwait. Could have gone one rail with more angle. I like going forward, Carl. Two rails land in between the eight and nine. Yeah, I think Albin Ocean will play. Attention, that please. Shot. Has a very good cue ball, does Albin, doesn't he? He mm. always lands nice on the next ball, which of course then makes that shot a lot easier. There you see, that's exactly what Mr. Lely was talking about, using the two rails, big margin for What a start. Awesome, Albin. Outstanding action. 3-0, just like that. Omar Al Shaheen yet to play a shot how much concentration it requires to control the cue ball <laughs> inexperience again Alex oh, on this oh, table oh. yes definitely You've got to play this table with soft hands let the cue ball react the correct way off the rail yeah play the table Yeah, they chat before with uh, Rob Spencer and uh, about difference between snooker and pool and that the pool players take time when the balls seem to be in a straightforward position. But that's in re regard to what you said, Carl, you really need to assess what the proper shot is. Well, that was much needed. In many respects, Omar Al Shaheen rode his luck there, but he did get the rack on the board. Zolnaki. Was like finding a balance between compact and fluid. Yeah, I'd like to see this a lot smoother. Don't hit this hard. As he fires it in. Yeah, that was it. That was like a nice mixture. After Ocean's mistake free start. It was a missed two ball in the fourth rack, a misjudged bank on the three in the fifth. And now Omar Al Shaheen is only one behind. Try and get near the left. Oh, he's tried to hold it. 
Mm, straight again. Straightish. Yeah. yeah, he's. Well, this is a little bit tricky. Is he going to play this with a little bit of drag or is he going to play a stun run through? Oh, ho, 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 ho. he's feeling so much better now. We're in for a match, folks. Alvin Ocean's missed two ball in the fourth rack, gave Omar Al Shaheen just a little bit of daylight. Boy, has he taken advantage? We're on level terms. He can manipulate the deflection. Yeah, and he might play a good cue ball as well because the three balls up the top. Yeah, this looks nice. If it misses the six, he might land on this in the right centre. I think he's got a shot, Alex. Nice shot. The bar was open. So, as we expect. Where's the cue ball? Don't be putting your hand in the pocket. Foul. Touch clock, please. So let's rewatch the break. What happened? Was it a kiss? Yeah, I believe a ball kicked it all the way up the rail. That's something that just can never be helped. That is agony when you're breaking. You just want to snap your brake cue over your knee. And he can with left spin to open the angle and get behind the one ball. Two rails. Got to be careful, you can scratch in the top left. One for oh. Carl. And ball on end for Omar. Well, in rack six, Aushin failed to escape from a hook. This time he does make contact. But it's a, a foul shot, nevertheless. Well called by Vice Captain Boys. It looks not a bad shot. It looks like a bad shot, but it's it's millimeters away from a kick and stick, as you like to call it, Alex. Very clear there. That compact action from Omar. Equalizing once again. Indeed, the Kuwait Tiger is not going away. For the third time, he achieves parity. 3-3, 4-4, now 5-5. Match on. Keep him under pressure. Attention, please. Surely he's not going to attack the one. OK, so he's... he's Bank the one ball up table into the cluster that he that he made on the push out. Well, would have been a good shot had that one ball been hidden. This is an easy out for Elbin. He's looking if he even has a chance to make the nine. Yeah, and he's looking closely, so I think he fancies this. I think it's close. It's close and it's there. Bit of a strange shot from Omar that. He tied it up on the push out, took a risk. Nothing like a good combo though. 1 9 in that instance. And try as he might, Omar Al Shaheen just can't hit the front. Alvin Aushin is back in the ascendancy at 6 5. 1 9. And for him, all is fine. We once had a tournament in Romania where the players wore heart rate meters. And the high, the peaks in heart rates were when the opponent made a good shot or a very bad shot or a fluke. So what I'm trying to say is when Elbin played that poor safety on the two ball, Omar's heart rate spiked, leading, I think, to that miss on the four. Come across. 
Oh, my word. Didn't see that coming. Albin is usually so reliable. What a moment in this match. At the risk of repetition, it had to be the six. That's criminal, always play into the rail on a pool table, makes the pocket so much bigger. Wow. So three big mistakes in total, in two wrecks. Pressure is mounting. And the winning line is getting ever closer. Alvin Ashen will be kicking himself there. The, the miss six ball, no one could have foreseen that. Omar Al Shaheen regains the advantage. Yeah, if anybody's watching, wondering what one pocket is, it's just a game that you play on a pool table. Alvin's going airborne. He trails nine racks to seven. This is a big shot coming up. He needs to get the cue ball back down the table for the pink four. Watch Whoa. out, eight ball. No, that's not bad. That's no, not bad. It's at all. not bad, but look where but the purple. <laughs> look where the purple five is. There's a gap, though. There's a gap in between the black eight and the side pocket. This shot, difficulty level to get to the left side of the purple five, a nine and a half. Given the circumstances. Is he going to try and find the gap between the eight and the right side pocket? He is. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, what a shot. That is the shot of the match for Albin in the context of where we're at. That was a beauty. It will help him forget that missed six ball. Beautiful shot. The angle, that is what's key. So he's playing three, yeah? Yeah, well, do, you, do you always make sure you hit the third or are you happy just getting that line and even if it lands no, on the No, I rail? like getting to the third if I can. I like it for reference. It'll slide a little bit. Nice and clean in the heart of the pocket. <laughs> Smooth operator. He's back. It's been a beautiful match so far, this. We've had everything. We've had a little three-pack out the gate. We've had push-out mistakes. Some good safeties from Omar. And the odd miss to make it exciting. 9-9. Nine, nine. Best of 25 racks at the start has been distilled to the best of seven. We'll probably play a similar shot here, spin it off two rails. Back out for the eight ball in the same pocket as the six. Straight or angled, it's all good. Hmm. I think that's okay, I think he can... He can? I think so, yeah, I think he can kind of just roll it in. Whoa. And leave a thinner nine than he would have liked. <laughs> yeah, but then he needs to hit it in the fat side of the pocket. If he overcuts it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, obviously, well, he might play it hard. Yeah, let's just see. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, good stroke, Alvin. Very good stroke. And they've been a little bit worried there, haven't they? Alvin Ashen. His fifth break and run out of this final. He started with three in succession, and now he's produced two on the bounce at the very heart of this final when they were needed most. Is he starting to get on top? Well, he leads 10 9. 8 7 line. See there with his cue action sights out of his left eye. Don't, Don't think. think this is going to be good, you know. I think this is going to be an easy one railer. No. No? No. Rail first is not on. 
Are you sure? I'm sitting right behind the shot. That's what I mean. <laughs> Give me my glasses. Attention, please. No, I don't think it's on. Okay. Massey. Yes. Oh, and the difficulty here is that the ball that he wants to clear, the seven, is so far away. Yep, you called it. He's feeling the seven. What a good chance now for Alvin. More than a good Touch chance. Point, it's vital, essential. Of the utmost importance to get this. Remember, Omar could have played the safety. He decided to put Alvin back. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's had a few too many sherbets to me. <laughs> so I'm sure I'm sure security are taking care of that as Albin. It's been a nice rack this. Timely rack as well. Wow. He said it right. As if that six never happened. He has won four racks on the trot, but it was vital that he regained his early form. Alvin Ashen now leads 11-9. Two more to reclaim the world title. 5% speed here. Oh, nice. Wow. Look at the split. Does the six pass the nine? If it doesn't, could be a combo. Also goes in the bottom right pocket as well, so we'll see how this unfolds. Wasn't the best of breaks regarding the cue ball. Unless he played the cup break. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. The ball, <laughs> just pop the ball and you're on the hill. Cue ball will come down. No problems, it went in the heart of the pocket. What a performance at the latter stages of this match. After missing that six ball, Omar has not really been seen. He's on the hill! How about this from Alban Aushin? The performance of a champion elect, maybe. He needs one more, and he's going to be world champion in the nine ball division for the second time in his life. This player. An easy positional shot now for the six. The eight is sat pretty. There you see, just a little stop shot. The dreaded six. But don't worry. No, he's good here. He's good. This will go in nice and soft. Well, we'll see where the six goes and what side of the pocket. job done this is it what a feeling when you're still out there but effectively you know you're over the line he took a deep breath then he knows he's about to win the tournament And I'll tell you what, you two guys, Alex Bailey and Carl Boys, in your capacity as captain and vice-captain of the Moscone Cup team, you've got a good one here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Matchroom Pool World Pool Championship official presentation. 
And to ensure we go through this nice and smoothly, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Give her some love and appreciation. The Managing Director of Matchroom Multisport, Emily Fraser. Yeah, big thank you to Emily and Matchroom for three fantastic pool tournaments in succession. It's back where it belongs. It's been a brilliant tournament, hasn't it, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. E Emily, the, the fans have been absolutely magnificent today. We've had the World Cup, the World Pool Masters, and then we've had the big one, the World Pool Championship. You yourself have worked so hard, but you must be very proud. Well, I just want to thank every single person in here that's bought a ticket in here tonight. You have made this atmosphere in here and it's been fantastic for the players. So thank you to you all. It's fantastic. <laughs> but what an incredible event we've had. Uh, we've had such a fantastic team on the ground with 16 tables, 128 players coming in. The format's been really well thought out and just so many great people here on site getting the event together and the high calibre of players that we've had. I mean, a huge respect to Omar. He always plays the circuit. He's always at every event, knocking the door on the matchroom pool events, not always quite getting there. But Omar, you have just proven why you should be at these matchroom events. You are in the final. Second place. <laughs> Albin, a few days ago, I saw you slumped in your chair after that match against Roberto Gomez, and I think what was going through your head was, oh, no, please not again. I don't want to be back up there as a co-presenter. I want to be here winning world championships. Is that what was going through your head? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, after the loss against Roberto, I thought, OK, what's going to happen next? Uh, but then actually, I just uh, swallowed it down and uh, came strong the next day, and now I'm here. Yeah, I mean, I think you've shown your class and you've got better as the games have, uh, have gone on and, and you're a worthy champion, and Albin. You must be really proud of yourself. Yeah, of course. I um, uh, had a very good start in this match and a very good end uh, also, but uh, the middle section was a little bit rough um, for me. But uh, uh, heads up to, to Omar. He played a great match and I'm very happy that he went for the one ball. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Omar, the, 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 the beauty of, of, of World Pool is we've got so many phenomenal players, literally from all over the world. You've done your country, your family and your friends really proud this tournament. How do you feel? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling great, you know. It's just the final is like all the players know it's tough, you know. One missed ball, like you got to lose that much. Album plays great. I have a couple of mistakes, but I'm totally proud. Like all over the Middle East, I know a lot of people, they are so happy. So, and I'm excited and so proud about that. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. 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 The, the, good, the good news is, the good news is, Omar, you know, this sport is going to, it's going from strength to strength. There's some huge plans over the next few months and years. So these are big ranking points for you. And the aim and the determination is to make these rankings crucial. Weekly, monthly, everyone's going to be looking. So this is a great start for you. So you should be very, very proud. Everybody, Omar Al Shaheen. Finally, Albin, the two-time world champion. You're not only a world champion again, you're also the new world number one. So it's been a pretty, pretty good week for you, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite speechless now. I, I didn't think uh, for one second about the ranking or anything else or the check. Or, but of course, when you're finished, uh, you're thinking about it and it's a very nice surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, as I said, it could, it could have some huge bearings going forward, you know, in, in the world of Paul. And also, it could seal, could, could, Alex, you say, your place in the Moscone Cup. Yeah. We, Really? Uh, we, we, we've got the US Open. We've got the US Open to come, Albin. We've got the Moscone Cup to come. But right now, let's focus on what it's all about: the World Pool Championship. Albin Ocean, the World Pool Champion.
Cabin Ocean is the 2021 World Pool Champion. So let's get that updated roll of honour. There we go. That is some less and confirmation. The new world champion. Albin Ocean 2021 champion. And as I mentioned earlier about rankings and the importance of these going forward in the world of Paul. And here we go. He's there. So he's not only the world champion, he's the world number one. And I'll tell you, we talk about Moscone Cup, hasn't Alex Lady got some decisions to make? Because that is dominated by Europe. But Albin Ocean is the world champion, the world number one. He's had a phenomenal week and he deserves it. Well, what a fantastic few days we've had here. Phenomenal, Paul. All 128 players have done themselves proud. You've all done yourselves proud tonight. So thank you very much. We've had three phenomenal tournaments in the last few weeks. And we are coming back very soon for the US Open in September. But for now, a very good night.